I was just looking at the the Cleveland Fed, you know, their prediction for it keeps coming down. It's now it's 0. 0.06. And what's interesting is they just posted their prediction for September CPI and they per, their prediction for September CPI is 0. 0.42. So that's a pretty high starting point wow. for them to predict wow, wow. in September. Yeah, I mean, it, it seems like the the rally we saw um, was driven by kind of expectations that inflation had turned the corner and that Fed wouldn't, you know, raise their rates too aggressively. Um, but you know, we saw in the last couple of weeks that narrative kind of falling apart after the Jackson Hole comments from Powell. A lot depends on you know how how these next couple of CPI prints come in. So yeah, if September yeah. is anywhere near that you know 0.4 percent number that or 0.4 number, um, that would be uh, very bad news, ob obviously. For Tesla, there's a lot of interesting stuff to talk about. For one, I mean, full self-driving 10.69.2 or dot one, I think you got, right, Matt? Yeah, it, it's interesting. It seems like a, a mixed bag to me, to be honest with you. All the criticism that I'm I'm gonna about to kind of put out there, you know, definitely take it with a grain of salt. It made a lot of really horrible mistakes, to be honest with you. Yeah. And, and Elon even mentioned that, you know, there are some pretty obvious things they need to fix um, mm -hmm. that won't require a lot of code that that will be updated in the dot two. It would go up to the intersection. It would kind of wait. It would show you where it was creeping and it would go like right to the edge of the lane or, or sometimes even into the into the lane a little bit. So there was really no more room left to creep. And then, you know, it let two or three cars pass and then like there'd be a fourth car and it would be clear after that, um, but it would start to go um, like, and, and there was like nothing to do. Like I had to really slam on the brakes or slam on the accelerator, like I said, and, and this happened kind of repeatedly. So that was wow. a little bit discouraging. I'd never seen this many, what I would call like dangerous, kind of like safety level mistakes in mm -hmm. any of the previous builds. We do need to give the, give the, you know, the car a little bit of leeway just because everybody is going to be different and has their own style. Yeah, so. We haven't heard of any like sensationalist crashes caused by FSD beta, even before this version. I'm not saying it can't cause a crash. I'm not saying it can't. I'm just saying it's, Maybe much, much less dangerous than we think it is just because the style is so oh, different. I think the yeah. combination of FSD and the the drivers overseeing it definitely seems to be way safer than than just like pure humans. So Yeah, um, I think so too. I wanted to ask you about your thoughts on the virtual power plant. Tesla I mean. has has participated in a program that's being run by uh, PG&E. PG&E is paying $3 per kilowatt hour during these kind of stated grid emergencies. $3 is very high. It's That's only going to work uh, when there's not kind of widespread battery penetration or if there are like very serious grid issues, which California has, to be clear. Um, but I could like most of the rest of the country doesn't have rolling blackout. Tesla does not get a share right now of that. So Tesla is kind of coordinating mm -hmm. this. They, they give like the, the dispatch signals to the power walls, but they are not actually, you know, getting a, a, a cut. I, I just think it's probably going to be slower than people think. And it's going to be not as margin positive as people think. In the yeah, short term. like it's going to do a good social good for the most extreme mm -hmm. areas. But in terms of Tesla's valuation, it's not going to move the needle anytime soon. I'm not as convicted in Tesla multiplying by, you know, 3x or 5x anytime in the next year or two years, like I thought back then it could do any year going forward. Um, but I think the stock is very sa much safer now in terms of this Artemis is, is a clear, you know, example of why public companies that are doing it, pri you know, privately SpaceX and Rocket Lab are the future of the space industry. In From opinion. where they initially promised to where they are today, it's like so drastically delayed and so much drastically over budget. That like, if you could just go back in time, you would never would have opted to, to do it. The cost is projected to be one to two billion dollars per incremental launch. But I think we're yeah. in a spot now where Starship is very close to being able to kind of eat Artemis's lunch and just say like, hey, I know you've got a contract with, you know, SLS, but like, do you really want to pay two billion dollars when we can do it to you, for you for like 50 million? So Rocket Lab did recover one of their used Rutherford engines, refired it, and it, it worked well. So, you know, the Rutherford was never designed to, to be reused, but they're finding that it's actually just more capable than they realized.